At what point in a business should one start defining titles like CEO? Okay, well, hi, my name is David. I'm a digital marketing specialist over at DMS.Blue. I've been advising and consulting with businesses of almost every kind for like the last 20 years, also working in marketing for quite a number of agencies, either as a full-time employee or freelancer or providing what they call white label uh, outsourcing services. I've worked with almost every type of business there is. I have to tell you, at what point in a business should one start defining titles like CEO? When you start making money, basically, when your business is growing exponentially, you're investing in marketing specifically for returns on investment, and you're tracking your investments very specifically for measurable returns, and you know how to do it, and you know what that is, and it matters to you. Um, you're getting more contracts than you thought you would. Um, that's when you need to have very specific titles, very specific division of labor, and um, you need to start having different people doing different jobs who are being held accountable. Now, yeah, you should and can have that prior to becoming very profitable, but quite honestly, most businesses don't. Most businesses are just flying by the seat of their pants, and they either learn what they need to learn within five years or they go belly up. Uh, statistically, the overwhelming majority of small businesses uh, will fail uh, before five years are up. Most will fail much sooner than that, but those are the statistics given by the United States Small Business Administration. And I think the percentage of the failure rate is somewhere like 98%. It might even be higher. Uh, some of it depends on demographics. But it's a very sobering statistic. Uh, part of it is most small business owners, just they don't know what you don't know. So rather than invest in marketing, they'll invest in other things or they'll try to do everything themselves only to discover that they're not getting the results that they want. What I see from my end very common is they go build a seemingly free website, but they're actually losing thousands of dollars every day in lost referrals and lost clients and loss of visibility online because nobody can find them with their free hobby website. Or you might even run across it and be like, I'm not going to do business with them. The site looks like it's you know, a generic template, or it may not be safe to use, or they don't take my payments and their competitors do. So, you know, it's, it's very, very common. Um, but to stick to your point, you should start defining titles like CEO as early, honestly, as early as you feel like you can start doing it and the people are serious and committed and there's real money on the line. The seriousness and drive and dedication to getting results in the real world, that you need it. It matters to you. This you know what is real. That's when you start running it like a military campaign. Failure is not an option. Uh, losing assets, it's not an option. That's when you start to do it. For most businesses, it's at that five to six year mark where they've already made enough money, they've encountered obstacles, they reached a thir certain threshold. Now they're willing to spend 3,000 if it means making back 30,000. If they have to wait six months um, or a year or two to make back that money, they're willing to invest in order to make more down the road. They're at that point where it's really vital to have a CEO, a CFO, a COO, a team lead, a uh, director of marketing, a director of communications. Everybody has their own individual role, and they've got enough work to keep them busy, and they're on this tight uh, track toward fulfilling real projects and really getting real stuff done that's tangible. So I hope that answers the question and gives you a little 
bit more clarity, okay? So if you have any questions about digital marketing, look me up at dms.blue, and let me know what you think of my answer. If you have follow-up questions, let me know. I'm always happy to contribute if I can. So, and if my question is helpful, give me a thumbs up, buddy, okay? Thanks a lot. Have a good night.